Ladies and gentlemen, I am not a happy camper right now because uh, Nautilus, who couldn't even be bothered to show up for, this, for his own request, wants us to put the take on that damn Kenzo Suzuki in a challenge run. Oh, God help us. This is a man who I looked through the stats, JM, just to tell you how crazy this is. His stats yeah. in KOC 1 is 145 points by base stats, parameters, all that. In the Pantry Wrestle Kingdom, you had him beat the Predator in a simulation. The Predator is ranked at 216 points. This is a man whose moveset is pure bullshit. He always finds a way to get away with it, apparently. Jakey, get away with this, course. I know, I know. That's why we have to do this challenge. What is this, the Ye Lord special? Oh, no, no. If it was the Ye Lord special, it'd be Fugu Fugu Yameji, and you know it. Oh, God, no. You know, maybe we should do that. <laughs> Uh, it's either Fugo Fugo Yumeji or Takao Omori, which is Year Lord's favorite wrestler, so. <laughs> so we're not alone in this, so with us is uh, the JU Double G, uh, the Jug Man, who will tell you what he's saying as he's a very mysterious figure in the pantry. And he's French. Um, with us also is a uh, Batting Hat. Hello. His favorite wrestler is Tiger Ali Singh. Um, Shut your mouth, that's not true. <laughs> we have Never to. true. Tiger Ali Singh is garbage. <laughs> yeah, also, we have Rasta and also Zach. Howdy. Who is going to one day inject a lethal dose of poison into Rasta. <laughs> Through his cre the creation. Why? I'm a lethal it. dose of poison. A lethal dose of Hansenism. I like that. Alright, so... I'm did, gonna go first. Did I just hear Hansenism? Oh, uh, wait, and also, you know, special thanks to uh, Batting F for doing a English... for translating uh, all the names and, and providing us with a combined save. Because, uh, trust me, it's a little bit... it's a lot easier uh, to navigate. Thanks, a lot. thanks, guys. All right, so here we go. Here's that hack, that rat bastard, and that, that guy who had that failed, uh, that failed WWE run, and ultimately was a failure, and had a failed AAA run to Kenzo Suzuki. That rat. <laughs> many, failure. I liked oh, I how much failure. venom was in the word <laughs> fail on JM's side. He had so much <laughs> venom what? saying that. What a failure. <laughs> <laughs> they had a failed career. This man failed in WJ. This man's like, oh, I'm gonna be the ace of WJ. How did that turn out? It's not my it's fault like, that Ricky chose you spent all my paycheck on a spray tan. He had a, he had a failed <laughs> career in the in the in the triple A. His only thing to fame in triple A was being in that in the awful garbage triple A game that ultimately didn't make one cent. <laughs> Wasn't a draw. Meanwhile, Jay actually wants a copy needle. of it. <laughs> yeah, no idea. Okay, I'm making a joke. Don't worry. You bought it for La Parca. Let's just be honest. <laughs> As you can see, I edited like some. I edited some attires of this save, by the way. Like, oh, uh, really? This new, yeah. This new, this two-bit con artist. This man's a bigger. I, this man's a con artist, just like KG Mudo. <laughs> oh, come on. Like uh, I can I can list all the attire changes right now, but I'll maybe do that after the challenge run. I'm gonna go with what evil should I unleash here? I'm a fiend. <laughs> Is that nah. the flag of Botswana? I was I trying know. to recognize the flag. I think that was Botswana. I well, think his I changed his name to. Well, when Kamala was in AAA, I got a fun fact for you. When Kamala was in AAA, he was actually not called Kamala. He was just called the Botswana Beast. Okay, that, that I think we know the answer then. So this version of Kamala, this is Giant Kamala. When the original Kamala was there, they just called him the Botswana Beast. Mm -hmm. All right, now what also, type also of like venue? <laughs> 2001 save, and you'll see it. And you'll see what I mean. Mm -hmm. This made 
we're, this man doesn't even deserve, we're going to, he doesn't even deserve Perkin Hall. We're going to a, third, we're going to a theater. That's right, the what? theater, because I'm a the movie star. I was in Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious, JM's favorite movie. No, he wasn't. Kenzo Suzuki. I have the theme yeah. song in my entrance at AAA. I think that counts as me in the movie. No, it does not. No, it does. Metrofari played an asteroid and was a no, it does stunt not. double for Jabba the Hutt in Star Wars. No, I think I can work. Yes, it was. Totally. He was a stunt double for Jabba the Hutt, Metrofari. It works totally, shut, Rasta. Kenzo, shut up and just go to and just go and have a Metro Kamala. Fine, I'm going to kick <laughs> his ass and then I'm going to say very mean words to him like he's a butthead or something. Here comes Night. Giant Kamala, who's gonna rain on the parade. Giant Kamala, Kamala was actually bought in as a replacement to the original Kamala. Yeah, he made a big career in Japan as, uh... uh... Giant... Don't underestimate, uh, the, the power of Giant Kamala. Giant Kamala is actually very uh, powerful in uh, Guys, uh, Nautilus just responded to me. Alright, is he All coming? Right. Uh, he said... I'll I'll watch the vo the VOD, okay. and then like I'm just waiting for another response from him. Wait, that's uh, right. It says it says when he watches it in voice chat, he only it only shows a green screen. That's weird. Oh, uh, green screen. Watching. And also for some weird reason, despite him being low card, Kenzo Suzuki always has four power balls. I guess they thought he was gonna be a big deal. He, well, yeah, I he mean, was. Yeah, they, oh, he always was meant to be a big deal, but then he went to WWE, and that's well, it all went down from there. No, 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 no. He went to World Japan first, and then no, WWE. no. I said after. No, I said he left Japan to go to the WWE, and I said, and I oh, said that's yeah, where it yeah, all yeah. went downhill for him. He was gonna be like a kind of a big deal in New Japan, but then like man just ruined it all by going to World Japan, and that. Well, was he wrong. was going. He was going to be a big deal in World Japan, but then he left for the WWE, and um, well. He doesn't really do anything. You see, this is what happens when you don't trust the process, like like that it, that other idiot, Carl Fredericks. Yeah. The difference me between me and Carl Fredericks it. is you all know my name to this day. Carl and, Fredericks, and, 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 everyone's going to forget him in two minutes. Yep, exactly. It's been Wait, 11 how seconds. About and... Jay, how do you guys feel about Jay White going to, to WWE? Okay. Yeah, of course, I want you to remember. Betting in like freaking Carl Fredericks, they had plans for Carl that was going to happen one month later. He couldn't even wait one month and uh, and, and pretty much burnt the bridge. Women. Oh no! no wait, can, look wait. At this. can I ask you? Can I ask something? What's the question? Uh, what, what do you guys I'll... feel about Jay White going to? What do you guys feel about Jay White going to either AEW or WWE? Like leaving New Japan for good. Well, it's because oh, he yeah. is such a big fan of me, Kenzo Suzuki, that he wants to follow my process and becoming a big deal in North America. What do you mean a big deal? Kenzo was the reason <laughs> why I big deal? Well, I was yeah. a former WWE Tag Team Champion. I made yeah. Rene Dupree. He was nothing until I touched him. I had a feud between my <laughs> wife and Tori Wilson. What do you all got? I entered a rap battle with John Cena. You, you know, that almost destroyed his marriage, right? Don't remind me about my hoe of a wife. Ex-wife. <laughs> hey, wait a second, wait a second. I thought Kendall was still married to her. I'm married to many things. My love of the planet Earth is one of them. Because I okay, am power, Captain power, Kenzo power, Planet. Power, power, that, that's, that's enough. That, that's enough. I, I you cannot like tell this... Kenzo Suzuki to shut up. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like a, a, another word that "Quote unquote," Kenzo Suzuki can say is that I never lose my virginity because I never lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Kenzo Suzuki! He's That's a good one. <laughs> now look at me. I come in a Boston crab. It's unlike him. I actually been to a Red Lobster. <laughs> See, just like Kenzo Suzuki, his jokes are awful. He's the guy who has a a, I think a group I of a people to laugh at his bad jokes. I have a very unpopular opinion. I think that uh, Kenzo. I think that Masayuki Kono is the modern day version of Kenzo Suzuki. No. Except the whole mean? going to the United. 
Huh? I would Big, say Masayuki uh, Kono is just Masayuki Kono. No, like, both big men, tall men who had potential, but then, like, they kind of just faltered it. Well, the difference is Kona went MMA. And then he came back yeah. to wrestling, and he's it a voodoo have, murder. Have oh, it had that work out. I think he was, like... Got, we, Kenzo has to watch... They got, they, his opponents have to watch out for Kenzo's daily high guy kill, eh? I don't even know what that word means, because I'm too busy. Working on my movie deals. I'm going to be with Keanu Reeves in a movie you're all going to love. It's called... Oh, God. He was about to go Cyber for the Hulk and Kill. Actually, that was the name of the movie title there, Rasta. I do my uh... own stunts. No, you don't. Look at that. Hollywood JM's big boots got nothing on mine. You know, uh, <laughs> the uh, DMNC style Hulk Hogan is in the workshop. I'm surprised nobody responded when I when I when I posted it. When oh, I did. I laughed. He Look looked me. funny. I speared him better than Goldberg could ever spear. Uh, look, man, oh. cancer, don't make me take your side bread, okay? <laughs> no problem for you, dude. Side, side bread. Side bread. You know, like uh, the soup kitchen from that episode of Seinfeld, where there's the chef who's basically nicknamed the Soup Nazi. Where if you piss oh, him he off, just a, he just did a whole koana. Just... Yeah. Uh, well, here's the thing: if 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 okay, like... you, you have to say, despite despite Kendall being the primary bullying target here, he does have a diverse move set. Oh yeah, it's just you know he keeps getting away with it. He just keeps getting away with being bad. Like, it's not really bullying. It's just like JM said that he didn't but, like oh, Kenza so Suzuki, said... and it just created a new headcanon where Kenza Suzuki and JM have like the most biggest blood feud ever. So I guess we can say Kenza Suzuki is the Roman Reigns of this server. I wouldn't say that. I mean, Roman Reigns, like, I I'm... like him far more than I like the Pantry Universe's version of Kenza Suzuki. <laughs> no, I meant in general, like... You know, oh, like in terms of like he he's ex pac he keeps, yeah, like he, ke he ke keeps winning stuff when he shouldn't actually be winning it in the first place, he keeps getting away with it. Got when are we gonna when are we gonna get that JM versus Suzuki uh, match? I could see that being like a big PPWA moment. <laughs> I just have to wait for like say Skittles to. You know, give me a file to the save, and I can take care of that when he's gone. You know, you know that you you know that you know your promotion is bad when it has PP in the title. Oh, but come on, but you didn't even think to exhaust. Now Kenzo's going for the kill. <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> he had to exhaust. take a breather because he's fat. No, he didn't take. He could have <laughs> taken a breather a couple while while he was still on the ground. Now Kenzo's about to go for the kill. Yeah, I'm gonna All kill him faster than his cholesterol will. Uh oh. Oh, he's in position. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great... Uh... Oh, God, oh. he's in position. Uh, he got up in time. Oh, no. Suzuki too slow for everything. He's in... He's in he's, he's either, he either can hit it right now. Oh, okay, never mind. Not even a one. Look at that. No, no sell. <laughs> no selling a pin. Let's be sure, JM. Do you why. have any other the, programs the... on in the background on your computer? Oh my goodness, bro. He didn't even... Oh god, he's going for yeah, the kill. Man. Cancel. You What's know, going... Why is he... I was staring I at him because I was in awe at how fat he was. Oh god, he's going for it. He's going for it. What happened? Never mind. Uh, it's like there's a bit of lag, so I was wondering if you had any other background programs on on your computer. Yeah, there is a bit of lag. Just not much, really. Giant Kamala too uh, fat. Did, you, did you try did going get... to like uh, asking support from Discord to check like, on that issue? Steam. All right, well I'll close Steam just in case. Okay, that might help. Do you have Google Chrome on? Uh, I guess so. Oh far. God! Oh my goodness! Is he going for it? Is he going for it? Oh, uh, thank God! Uh, no sell. <laughs> Look at that! I got away with it. Hey, on, oh god, oh god, is he going for it? Oh, god, no. I'm gonna get away with it! I got a spear! Oh, oh, that, 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 looks, that looks like that, that looks like the tackle he does this, he, he used to do to his ex-wife every day. 
<laughs> Jug says close the 35 tabs on Google Chrome, JM. No. <laughs> I don't have 35 tabs open. <laughs> Not uh -oh. anymore. You closed all 36 of them. Now there's 37. I never had 36 of them. I never had 36 of them. I'm not like my one of my buddies. Oh God! Who literally had had that. He had multiple like with. Oh God! Like, he's going for a finisher. He's going for a powerball oh, move. No. That's right. I am Mr. Backdrop. No, this can't be. Get out! You... No. I got away with it again. You can't stop me, JM. Next victim, please. He can't keep get away with this. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Hirohito. <laughs> With a travesty of justice. Oh my gosh, that was uh, that was such a match. I give that match like a seventy-five out of a hundred. Because Enzo won. All right, who's next? <laughs> Who is Hirohito gonna go up against? Oh, wait, I got my. Oh, wait, let me do mine. You wanted Nishimura, right? Uh, no, for us, I give. I suggest. Give Kohei. No, no, no. Give. Mitsuya Naga a chance. Okay, Mitsuya Naga. He's in all Japan. All right, let's see. Yep, he's right there. Until he, uh, then later on, he joins the Makai. He joins the the, the winning team. He joins the Makai Club. I don't <laughs> know if that counts as a winning big, team. Big, big proof that JM loves Inokiism. I do not love there, Inokiism. And you don't there's, your, your, there's the proof right there. That proof is literally right there. He showed love to one guy in Makai Club. Therefore, he loves it all. No. No. No, oh, no, 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 no. He, he showed to love to all of Makai you Club. He knew where the money was. What is that shirt? Oh, okay, okay. For a second, I thought the shirt was like, say, a baseball shirt or something. But it's actually I, an all-Japan shirt. No, that's is... probably like an all-Japan shirt around this time since, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, he was still an all-Japan boy at the time. But seeing the guy is toiling away in tradition. Part of the Never Give Up Tour. Speaking of giving up, how about you give up, JM, and admit that I am better than you? Never. Well, I guess I gotta but beat JM. up another victim. But JM, you, you're not even a wrestler. Uh, sleep a tornado. Oh yeah, the Matt Hardy song. No, no, listen, I do not. How uh, the hell are you gonna slap a tornado? Oh uh, wait, you wait, die. JM, can you, can you? Uh, Matt Hardy can also dry hump a, a C thing. I don't know. What the, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I remember Literally. Matt Hardy version 1.0. Good gimmick. Very good gimmick. I remember the... seeing the uh, various fun facts. Like, uh, Matt Hardy really despises mustard, and they brought that back during the Broken Matt Hardy stint. Or yeah. another one that was great was, uh, Matt Hardy likes English muffins. <laughs> it's like things that you don't really care about, but it's like, oh, wow, wait, wait, Matt wait, Hardy. I have, a good, I have a good one for, for JM, who's, who's listening, who hopefully is listening to me. But Matt Hardy loves Kenzo Suzuki. Go to Today on Pantry vs. Opposite Day. <laughs> but yeah, Joe, opposite one point oh like gimmick January was ahead of its 25th. time. Opposite oh, my... Day is probably like on January twenty fifth. Oh, speaking of uh, with the one point oh gimmick with Matt Hardy, remember when he had a uh, Crash Holly as his lackey, and he was called uh, like he had the boot. Not, no, he not only had Crash Holly, he had Shannon Moore. Yeah, but the Crash Holly one was specific because, like, Chan Moore, Matt, he had the boot up thing. But with Crash Holly, when he was trying to boot up, it just crashed. Oh, uh, crash. He's about to Literally go, crash Holly. Like, he's about to go to his stone and there his stoner friend, Shannon. I, I literally just made a, a joke like that when I about the Predator, like, when the stream began. Oh yeah, uh, Nautilus funny, has yeah. a question for you, JM, about slapping the tornado. Uh, you better Joe, be ready I'm for it like because Kenzo is about to send a shitstorm your way. <laughs> oh my god! No, it's not like, kick your ass. <laughs> Look, did you try? But if you excuse me, I'm facing a bald motherfucker. Don't make me make you, make me make you press the button, uh, Nautilus. 
Don't make me make you press the button. What button? He's a fan of he's a fan of of, of the of of. Well, of, why is nobody? Why is why is our opponents that's constantly facing Kenzo Suzuki out of breath? I don't get it. Because I take him to the limit. I'm that damn good. Nobody in a Kenzo Suzuki match ever thinks of just you know Kenzo Suzuki saving up their stamina. Even the predator, it makes no sense. Okay, now you do it. Yes, thank you. Finally, think- Jesus. Wait, I wait, think wait. I have an idea. No I think joke. I have a. Skip from the body Donna's was Chris Candido. Crash Holly and Hardcore Holly were different people. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Hardcore yeah, Holly were. was Sparky Plug, <laughs> while Crash Holly, he had a gimmick where he was a leprechaun in the, the Indies before going WWF. Yeah. He was called like Aaron O'Grady or something. Wow. That wasn't even close to a low break. What the hell? I don't yeah, think that happens get it. a lot. That's called the Kenzo rope break. Now that happens like every wrestler in this game. That's because uh, I allowed a... it to happen. But Kenzo was in the WWE and I got started with a Japanese gimmick. He didn't even have any other signature moves. He had no Haga Kyoe, no spear. He just had this one wheeled finishing maneuver. He had like a freaking neck breaker into a knee no. finisher. It was Not shit. Uh, actually, batting at he had the Iron Claw STO. Oh. oh, so that one move that uh, Bison Smith used uh, against uh, Kobashi in 2003. Yeah, Kenzo, yeah, Suzuki was using the, uh, the Iron Claw STO. And the Shining Wizard, too, from the games that he's in. No, nah, because that, that, wasn't, that wasn't called the Shining Wizard, because um, Kenzo calls it the Haga Kill, eh? Yeah, well, you know, they, I, they, I mean, it's better than... I mean, I, that Japanese gimmick he had with... I don't know what theme they gave him. Probably some random ching Oh, God, Jesus. Uh, he said the word. He said the word. Everyone, take a drink of apple juice. But, uh, but uh, it's better than the original gimmick he was oh. going to be given. Nautilus, they actually did make the Hollies as a tag team. They actually won the WWF tag team titles in ni- late 99. Yeah. Oh, God, a knee. Yeah, that was a big knee. Yeah, the tag team was very short term though, because they would eventually be feuding over the hardcore. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, they both oh, get a re- reunion in guys, like late guys. 2000 with Molly Holly, and they feuded with the Dudleys. But then Spike Dudley yeah. and Molly Holly oh, had God. like a Romeo Juliet angle where Spike actually Wait, got I... really over. Wait, I wanted to say something. I think I know why the wrestlers lose their breath whenever they face Kenzo Suzuki and not vice versa. Why is that? Because I feel like Kenzo Suzuki secretly gives them, uh, for, uh, a, a, a lo- like a lot of food prior to the match as a thank you gift for wrestling him. No, that's not accurate. You want to know what it is, Banning Hat? I hype myself it? up to the soundtrack of Top Gun with the number one song from the movie "Take My Breath Away" by Berlin. So no, I'm I prepared. Well, what is that grapple range? Jesus, I forgot. I forgot how big that range was. That's like Ma from Super Smash Bros. Melee range. It is pretty oh, yeah, long Marth. in this game. Hey Ross, hey Ross, you talking a lot of smack for someone in command grab distance? <laughs> um, I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't really. I'm pretty sure you can only really command grab my legs, Zach. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yes, mother. Love you. Oh, oh, by the way, good news on the mom front. Nothing was ever really wrong to begin with. That's okay. very great to hear. Well, since we're talking about good right. news, I'll say some good news, too. Good news, the charges were dropped so we can continue making videos. What charges? Exactly. Oh, God, he, oh God, he did a springboard knee. Big pardon, Mom? <laughs> Junakiyama would be jealous of that. Hey, Nautilus, who are you uh, to question there, Molly Holly? Oh. Right, hold on there, Daughter, Nautilus. Molly Holly could work, okay? Well, yeah, he, she could impressive. work. Well, well, it's boys. just that she got bullied too much by the backstage locker. Wait, 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 wait. Boys, I need to amend my previous statement. There is a little something wrong. It's called a aortic, aortic regurgitation. And- Come on, Monsieur Yacht. Go, go for it. Finish him off. And mom has a bit of a heart murmur and a leaky valve, but 
she, she's all, she's always. Had what are you that. doing? Finish him off. I hope she's doing better, Zach. Yeah, that, that's something she's always had, and her, her heart doctor said, said that we just gotta watch. Finish him off. What are you doing? But, Hopefully, she'll be better than ever before. But the, but the, the tech girl that did the test the first time. Read the results wrong. Yes, yes, you. do it. Oh my. Hey, yeah, damn it, he can't capitalize. Oh, come on, capitalize. just win. You dumb fuck. Oh, fuck you, the guy. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's hitting me with elbows. Want. Whatever shall I do? I know. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, you're Kenzo Suzuki has. Guy. Ken Kenzo Suzuki has the most repetitive move set in this game. Not even gonna lie. Hey, hey, Quirst. Yeah. Yes, 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 do it. Why? Come why on. Why no. Why do you make Kenzo Suzuki sound like the dude from The Big Lebowski? Why not? Oh, oh my God. God. The Misawa German from from his match against. Uh, no. I'm gonna make him tap to a single leg Boston Crab. I learned that from Lance Storm. Yeah. Kenzo, Kenzo literally used the German suplex Misawa used on Kazunari Murakami in that UWF, UFO tag match he had. Oh, yeah, in 0 1. Oh. Yeah, no, in, yeah, in 0 1. Oh, yeah, my blood. He really Misawa just. And Murakami. Damn, I wish the legacy would feel our pain right now. I think that's bad. What is wrong Dost with you? Like, that whole no. thing was just all broken up there, Rasta. Was that on purpose? Rope break. No. I what will the, the rope, Z therefore Suzuki's I break. Suzuki's too smart. Suzuki's too smart. He uses rope breaks. No. Well, this could be it. Well, thank God. Yay! Yeah, Mitsuya hey, Nagai hey, with a very good hey, match. Hey, batting hat. I don't. We did don't it. Know, hey, batting hat. I don't know if I'm using this properly, but mashallah. Uh, you, wait, we're using it for what? Like for uh, yes, I Nagai knew, I winning? Knew, I, I knew. I knew. I was it's being smart by like picking the guy. Of joy, like a thank goodness. For for, for Nagai winning. Yes. Like. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Every time right, so, Kenzo, uh, Suzu every time a Suzuki right, loses, I'm happy. All right, so who's next? I think you said I was uh, third. Yeah, yeah. Who do you got, of course? Well, I'm thinking let's get someone who I really enjoy watching wrestle. Someone who I think could do a good job. At, he's not in the game, batting hat, so I can't really use no. him. No. I think you can make him, though. I don't know. But I'm going to pick a guy who was a former GHC Tag Team Champion in NOAA, All-Asia Tag Team Champion in All-Japan. He had some great matches with Kenna Kobashi. I'm talking about none other Hikomori. than Tame and Hondo. Oh, my God. Why bro, I thought was, I thought, Hondo? Why? I, thought, I literally thought you were talking about Takao Omori, not Tam no. You know what? I don't even know that Tamon Hondo. I didn't even know well, that. Well, think he won about that. it. His theme song is titled "No Survivors." We're gonna hope that and, Kenzo Suzuki and his is in move, the... and it's and his finishing move is called the Dead End. Exactly. He's gonna try to murder Kenzo Suzuki. You know what? I'm uh, since I'm a big Honda fan. I'm always gonna be behind him. You bet your butt. God, how much I like this song. Oh yeah. You ever heard the Honda, song in real unfortunately, life? Guys, unfortunately, no. Tamon Honda gets his powers from his beard. Oh yeah, you would like the song, like how it sounds before it got put into Fire Pro, the No Survivors by GBH. It hypes you up. I like JM just skipped Kansas Suzuki's entrance. He's tired. He's tired of playing the facade. <laughs> he just wants to get it over with. <laughs> this hack. See, look at that. He's throwing him around like a sack of potatoes. Like a sack of shit. 
No, Zach, well, if I was a sack of shit, my name would be something like your favorite wrestler's name. Because I am not as shitty as them. I Bro. am cool, I swear. <laughs> Bro, that's like the sound of someone who's not cool. Exactly. Oh, definitely. Uh, it's just the no whole shit. joke. <laughs> even, I think, I think, is such I a think heel. Even, I think even I could wrestle circles around Suzuki. I think probably. even I could wrestle circles around Suzuki. And I'm Meanwhile, the real me. Kenzo Suzuki is probably subscribed to JM, but he cries after watching this video. <laughs> Kenzo well, I'm going to be sad if the guy is the only guy who actually defeated Suzuki. I'm going to be sad. Okay, does anyone want to explain the story about uh, Kensuke Sasaki? I, I can, I can. I know, I know about it very well. I can, I can okay, Batting Hat. Let's try not to interrupt <clears throat> so Batting Hat tells the story. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, Nautilus asked the question. Yeah, I know. And the Batting Hat says he's going to answer it. Yeah, I'm going to answer. I know, I know the story very well. All right, so, you know, you know, like every, you know, New Japan, obviously, you know, you, all of you know that they have the Young Lion system. So there was a, a young boy... Uh, called Hiromitsu Gampe, who, who was training to become a wrestler in New Japan, to become a young lion. And, you know, obviously, you know, got permission from his parents uh, to start wrestling and training for New Japan. So one day, uh, Ken, Kensuke Sasaki was not happy about Hiromitsu Gampe's uh, progress in training because he thought he wasn't doing so well. Like, he wasn't, like, putting as much effort as the other young lions did. Uh, like, I think, like, Nagata and Tenzan did, but I'm not really sure. Maybe they debuted around this time. Um, so, uh, when Sasaki was training Gampei, he allegedly went hard on him, uh, dropping him on his neck and hitting him with the Northern Lights bomb. Now, again, all this is alleged. It's alleged. And then in the end, uh, Hiromitsu Gampei died because of, you know, uh, all of these injuries. Um, now, obviously, nothing happened to Kensuke Sasaki since, you know, again, we're not sure if he actually did it or if this was an accident or all that. But it led to Hiroshi Hase, one of New Japan's, like, uh, top stars in some way, being angry at Kensuke Sasaki, pretty much ending his friendship with him. And then Hase would leave New Japan and go to All Japan around 1995, 1996-ish. 96 he debuted officially 97 in his first match, but he left around 96. Yeah. So the other young lines at that time, that would have been probably... I'm trying to remember. Who would have been a young line at that point? Probably uh, Yutaka Yoshie, maybe. Or... The Tanahashi yeah. was like 99. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was he like He came 99. in after Gunpei, while like Nagata and whatnot were before Gunpei. I, I always get you know, the feeling, that, feeling that, that, that that crop of young boys was, not to get too spiritual, but that they were cursed because of the Gunpei incident. Cur uh, cursed in what way? No. Like, is, no, you weren't cursed? Like, literally look, you, cursed. look what happened to the 27's D class. No, that was really bad. I mean, you had... Oh, I can't I remember his name. Like, funny. Kitamura, I believe his name was. Kitsuya, Kitsuya, Kitamura. Kitamura was not only concussed, but he had the heart issues from the steroids right after he went full bodybuilder. That's true, his brother. Uh, Kanemitsu was, was forced to retire by doctors after the spine injury. Oh, my. He had a very bad spine injury during his young line tenure, and he was on hiatus for a number of years. He was mainly doing stuff, like minor stuff at the Fall A Dojo. He tried to make a comeback in 2018, uh, and unfortunately, doctors actually forced him to retire. Yagi, or like Yagi, he retired because he couldn't cut the mustard. He was what he, like, he had an injury to the ult to his ulna in his arm. And he pretty much, you know, he knew he couldn't, he he couldn't handle it, and he left. And he left. So that's some of the stuff that happened to some of the young lions that we had in 2017. 
you know, Okada made it, Oka made it, Shota Umino made it, Ren Narita was able to make it. So not as cursed as we thought. Oh my god, Shining Wizard! But like overall... Yeah. Yeah, but there was a lot of uncertainty with that class at the time due to all those things happening. And then don't forget that when Kawato, when Kawato was on his excursion in CMLL, he had the knee injury, he got very sick. You know, he, you know, he got very sick during the excursion that he had to be sent back to Japan for a little bit because of how sick he was. Didn't well, it's been 12 minutes. Time on that. Oh, my. Those chops. Didn't it's those Kawada dang chops. Almost, it's... Kawada almost die in Mexico. Oh, hey, Jay. Welcome. No. He was hurt. But he was oh my hurt God! It's, sick, it's, it's not near um death. It's uh, it's Jay Black. Oh, then, oh then, then, not racist. Then, sorry, nah, you know what I think happened, Jug? He probably drunk. Oh, uh, uh, he Damn. won. Oh, Gu oh, guess there was a survivor after all. Hawk he, he can't oh, keep getting oh, away with this. This is so <laughs> <whatever you laughs> can, go to Mexico, never drink the damn water. Speaking of not drinking the water, Kenzo Suzuki was in AAA. Yeah, it actually was good. But but imagine, imagine, okay, um, the butter knife, J Black. No, we know that's his new WWE gimmick. That's Jay White's new WWE gimmick. He just butters people's toast. Who's next? So who's got next? Uh, I think Jug, and then me. All right, Jug. Who's your who's your special surprise, Jug? Come on, Jug. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Kazuyuki Fujita or somebody. No, he's gonna surprise us to pick someone like a Masao in a way. I, I, oh my I God! Did. Imagine. I already, I already if, called Fujita for my match. Remember. A former oh, IWGP yeah. heavyweight champion. That narrows it down. Manabu Nakanishi. Yes. I like it. Yeah. I like Your it. Boy. Not a bad pick. Not a bad my number, pick. My, my number one boy. I thought this man was going to say to Dao Yasuda or <laughs> to Dao <Toshi> <laughs> Yasuda. <laughs> you know what? Actually, it's not, Nakanishi and uh, Suzuki have some history. So, And Nakanishi beat him before. So, you know. Maybe not Nakanishi this, uh, can... Fun fact. Nakanishi has... The second highest stats of all the wrestlers in New Japan in KOC One, beating yes. Chono even. Yes, yes, <clears throat> yes, my boy, what? my boy. There's Let's only see, one other... wrestler with a higher yeah. stat rate than him, and that's Fujinami. Oh yeah. my God, Nakanishi with that big push! I'm happy. This this makes me extremely happy. This is this. Is, that's this is, right, I mean, and he comes yeah. out to no problem. No problem. Yeah. Around this time, no that uh, problem. not that you know, Nakanishi was getting pushed between the members of the third generation. Yeah, but then Enokiism happened, and he got yeah, screwed. He did win that. the 1999 G1 climax, so they were definitely oh. showing into him. Yeah, but but he lost in the freaking Tokyo Dome against Mudo. So what was the point? Hey, at least he could say <laughs> he won a G1 climax. How many of you won Batting Hat? Uh, I still haven't started my career yet. Exactly. So. In the words I of actually, in the um, words won, in the words of the um, Rock, know your role and shut your candy ass mouth. But yes, nah, Rock. Okay. Didn't say candy ass, uh, like after before mouth. Well, okay, did, um, Pure Power. I have this to boast. Okay. I beat a Taken Tag Tournament arcade. Oh, that's good. Okay, Jay has a new tournament. JM, are you ready to hear this tournament idea? I, I want to do, right, do it. Let me do okay, it. Okay, Zach, say it. G-Spoto Climax. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, G-Spot uh... Climax. Bro. Yeah, that don't, yeah, that don't work for me, brother. I could think of a couple uh, promotions that would work that tournament. DDT. DDT is definitely one of them. Uh, because of Cyber Fight hustle, with DDT, hustle, Tokyo hustle. Joshi Pro probably. Hustle. 
Wait, how did Hustle even die? Can someone please tell me what the hell Hustle money. was anyway? Like, money. Lack of money. Was it really just money? If a promotion dies, it's usually the answer is money. But I'm not sure it's just money. Like, they, like Hustle did some dumb stuff. Well, Benny, you gotta remember that the Yakuza scandal happened around then. And Dream Stage, which was the parent company of both Hustle and Ryzen, went down. Oh, don't forget Pride. You mean Hustle and Pride, not Ryzen. What, what, what's a Ryzen? That didn't happen. Ryzen didn't exist yet, uh, JM. JM, get your facts right. Yeah, I don't know, man. Look, man, I, I, it seems they, uh, I, I just think they're interchangeable to me. supposed to be Hustle or Daytona. Let's go away. Yeah, so. All of the above, yeah, Zach. So freaking, yeah, so Dream Stage <laughs> Entertainment, um, they got through the whole, they went through the whole Yakuza scandal, and that took out Pride, and that ultimately took out Pride and Hustle. Hustle, they literally lost all that money. And all that talent, too. They lost Kawada, they lost the Takada, they lost uh, that that Yingling that, uh, that she got over for some reason. Died the, the, everybody thought Hustle died the moment uh, Takada left. They, well, they no, lasted they until 2009 when, uh, say, Hard Gay or whatever his name was got an injury, career-ending injury, and they just basically, at that point, they had no draws, so, uh, you know, just ended. Yeah, yeah they yeah, just ended it. it. Nobuhiko Takata was, like, was like the heart of the show. He was the heart he was and soul of Hustle. Like, even Kawada was, was there, and he, he didn't do much in Hustle either. He just, did, he just entered Hustle just for a paycheck. Yeah, he was, and he wore like the most basic, the most basic, like I don't give a shit attires ever. Yeah, look, man, look, man, he he, he wanted to see uh, Nobuhiko Takada's master plan fail. <laughs> no, on the bright side, the master plan did fail. Hustle died. Yeah, hustle, uh, hustle ain't hustling no more. AJM, it was the master, the master, the master plan. To destroy that damn now you Ogawa. <laughs> I I'm glad that Ogawa got a big that got a big push in hustle though. Like he that got was a probably big push in zero one also. I think uh, the hustle was Ogawa. Zero, he won the NWA championship. A very unpopular opinion. I think hustle was Ogawa at his like uh, uh, probably his best. So what you're saying is, well, if you were a failed Anokia's project. The best way to well, get over is comedy. Yeah. yeah. Well, until 2005 when Hashimoto uh, passed and then he stopped giving a shit. He quit the business entirely. Well, not entirely. He brought back the Inoki Bombay A show to this, uh, last year. That was a weird pin attempt. That was oh, a pretty sus pin, pin attempt. Especially for Kenzo because it looked like he was suckling on Manabu Nakanishi's monster breakfast there. Uh, 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 uh. Look, I thought no, I thought Suzuki survive. never lost. All right, so let me ask you guys this: Would you guys have a monster morning with Minabu Nakanishi? Can you eat the many breakfast platters that he will have in the morning? Most likely yes. not, with, but I will be there. E with, yes, with ease. I would. I would try. I. I yes, with with ease. I I, I never get. I I, I I barely get full. Hear Joe, that? Fatty hat Joe, never Joe, gets Joe, full. Yeah. Joe, calm down with the bit. Yes. Uh oh. That's what why a German. Oh, MJPW had all these clowns as world champs. With... Come on. <laughs> what a <laughs> quote. What a freaking quote, Jay. Maven said. <laughs> I took steroids, and I wish I would have taken more. No, no, one, no, no wonder. You know what? You know what? No wonder no women ever touched Maven. I thought it was because of the eyebrows. Yeah. Well, not no, really, it's not really, the really, eyebrows. Yeah. It's, it's, this, man it's, was, it's, this man was begging Tori Wilson on angles, okay? Uh, angles. Uh, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean angles? Like, explain. I thought that was Tajiri. No, I'm pretty sure that was Tajiri. No, there was an angle at one point where she was leaving Tajiri for Maven. 
I don't even remember that. Oh, yeah, that's a, rest, that's a wrestling angle, not a real-life shoot angle. Oh, wait, this is what happens when you know how to use them and not just abusing them, says Jay. Well, I can mm -hmm. believe that. Yeah, oh. you, Maybe, you, I mean... He would, not have, he would not have survived the wellness policy. He yeah. would have fired so damn fast. You really think they're going to give Maven the Orton rule? No. No. Oh, have a good the, night, Chet the, Nautilus. The, have a good night. Or the Roman Reigns rule, where they, like, suspend him for 60 days and he's fine. He gets back to main event, but then William Regal gets also suspended. And he comes back, loses everything. Damn, what was the Orton rule? He got away with it. Because he got away. It's pretty much he got away with it. Like Kenzo Suzuki and most of our Sims. He got, you know, he violated the wellness policy like multiple times. And, you know, and the rule was three strikes and you're two, two or three strikes, you're fired. But they didn't want to fire him because he was a big star. So they made the order rule again with one more chance. Yeah, but Regal. Yeah, but he had like eight, one more champion. chances. Regal is never going to be a gonna world, be champion. world champion. No, he guys. wasn't. He was never going to was. He, he was. Never. He was lined up for it by 2008, and then he got a wellness test fail, and and, 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 he, and then his push got lost. He was going to be world champion. He yeah, was. no one was to make him world champion. 2008, after uh, 2007 and 2008, after he won King of the Ring. Oh, apparently it's Yeah, there was plans to make William Beagle world champion. He was going to be world champion, but then, like, you know... Failed the wellness test and WWE never gave him a chance. But Roman Reigns fails the way in the wellness test. Orton fails the wellness test, and oh, everything's fine. Well, Roman oh, yeah, Reigns has an excuse that William Regal doesn't. What? He survived leukemia. Oh no, that was like no, no, no. That was back in 2016. Yeah, but like I said, Roman he could still uh, bring it up that I beat leukemia. What's what's the biggest thing William Regal ever beat? Alcoholism. Yeah, that's pretty bad, but it's not leukemia bad, says Roman Reigns. And then Vince mm. McGowan's, ah, uh, you know, you got a point there. I have a world title reign. What's up, y'all? Hey, Boris. Hey, Boris. Oh, hey. hi, Boris. Yeah, howdy, we're Boris. currently shitposting. How's your day? Uh, howdy, pard. Uh, I've just been listening to Phil Collins all day. Mm. Okay. How Howdy business, par uh, business partner. Howdy. How do you say howdy in Arabic? Ah, no, no, they, they, I don't think we, we have Maybe he says, how do you say hello in Arabic? Yeah, how do you, you say just, uh... Well, obviously, since I'm Muslim, uh, you, you can just say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, just like, or, or assalamu alaikum only. Like, it's, uh, it's simple, but nice. It's I didn't simple understand. and nice. <laughs> I didn't let me, let me, let me, let me type it up. Okay. Not in Arabic, hopefully. <laughs> Like, do you remember that tweet I said you last night? Candle keeps getting saved by the vote, Blake. The new well, locked it. Lama Lama Lake to you, uh, Ali. Now you have to say it like a Texan. I did say it like a Texan. <laughs> no, I well, well, I get that. I didn't know a Native Arabic speaker, did it? <laughs> Jay said, Jay said, Quirst, you're whitish. Come on, son. <laughs> really? All right. You just noticed, Jay. Hey, oh. This whole time, I was pretending to be Puerto Rican, and you finally realize what's going on. Oh my god. Wait, I thought you were pretending, pretending to be Japanese with that shitty Kenzo Suzuki accent. No! Anyway, anyway who, won, well, who won the last match? Who won Manabu last Nakanishi match? won, thankfully. Yes. Alright, I All have... Right, I next? have... Me. Alright, who do you got? Alright, now, based on my... Profile picture. You can uh, yeah. guess one of them. Dr. It's based Death. off my profile. You have two choices. Either Dr. Death or Mike Rotundo. Since they're both in the game. I'm thinking it's probably going to be Dr. Death. Sykes Swerve, Mike Rotundo, right in the challenge, please. Boo! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mike Rotundo, the legend, IRS. The S stands for he's gonna shyster. He's going to give Kenzo Suzuki the tackle. He's going to he's going to give he's going to give Kenzo Suzuki all those taxes so he can lose all that money. Bro, who who is that guy on the left? I know that that's Money Bag Yo on the right. But who who is that guy on the left? Uh so the guy in the middle is obviously Dr. Death, the guy in the no, right. No, I'm not talking is about Mike that. Pink, I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about Jay's the guy picture. on the left. 
Oh, the picture. Oh, oh, oh. I can talk about. Oh, the homie. Yeah, that is him. The homie for Grover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about my profile picture, bro. I, I, my, my brain just lost. With how he no. was wording it, I think I knew what he meant. But either way. Hey, hey Boris. You, you know what I did with some friends last night? That, last night that was goaded. Went, went through a compilation of 90s and 90s and 2000s TV themes. That shit was goaded, sir. Yeah, your favorite theme song from that time frame, I bet, was the SpongeBob theme song. <laughs> I mean, let's no. admit it. Who doesn't like SpongeBob? Who, who, uh, who else lives in a pineapple under the sea? No, of course. If you know me at all, you know what my you know what my favorite theme from that time is. That's right. You're a big fan of Seinfeld, especially the episode when uh, Sean Bean was in charge, and it was called Sean. We all know what the greatest <laughs> TV theme of the '80s and '90s was. It's, it's the Miami Vice theme. What the fuck? What, what do you? Why is this even a question? No, 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 no. What about no, what, about what about the greatest? Theory you know, <laughs> what about what about the greatest TV theme what? of the late of the of the late? What about the greatest TV theme of the late 2000s and 2010s? No, I said season two of the Drew Carey show, not season one. Oh, uh, that's right. JM, the only I'm, person who I'm, can unironically say Cleveland rocks. No <laughs> suplex for you. <laughs> now, if, if Sean Bean was the soup guy, it, it'd, be, it'd be like, mm, no Yorkshire tea for you, bastard. And, he would, and because it's Sean Bean, he would die at the end of the episode. Oh, come yeah, on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no lie, man. Earlier today, I literally, I literally told one of my coworkers, "Look, man, you keep getting on my nerves. I'm gonna take your side brain away." Oh, damn! <laughs> Look at literally that, a fireman's carry. I literally, I literally went into Postinia Hogan mode for the end of this moon show. over. I was so damn bored from the. I was so damn bored during part half shift. I'm literally, I'm gonna take your side brain. Oh, I got another a TV Mike. show from that time frame for you, Boris. Remember Airwolf? All right. The Airwolf. theme song for Airwolf. I, I know Airwolf's theme song. It's it's good, but it's not better than Miami Vice's. Oh, theme. okay. Bro. I got what season two SWAT Cats theme song. Okay, that's pretty good, but it's still not better the than Miami Vice. The fuck is a SWAT cat? Boris, we have to show Zach the greatness that was early Cartoon Network SWAT Cats show. No, it was on TBS in the 90s. Oh, that's time. right. Dang it. Oh, Wait, Night Ted, Court. Yeah, that was a good one, too. This motherfucker Jay said Night Court. Oh, Get out of here, bro. I, I mean, if we're going what? 90s, if we're going 90s, Batman name is serious. Like, that, that's... Oh, yeah. Fact. Yay, Fact. sir. Stop. Sir, stop with that. You wild. Oh, Let's oh, see. Oh, oh, yeah, guys. Speaking, oh, speaking, oh, speaking of Varsity Club, speaking of Mike Rotundo, I actually edited Steve Williams' second attire to be close to his, uh, uh, what, to his, uh, Varsity Club days, like his attire during that Great time. Great under fire. Oh, my God. Okay. Goodness. Yo, be best scene in Miami Vice. Best scene. Let's go. Did you guys know that Phil Collins is actually in that show called, uh, what was it, Phil the Shill or whatever? Yep, fill the ship. That's neat. Oh man, I thought I. Does this mean that this show also has all the other fills in the world in it? No, it only has the only one that matters. Uh, Phil Collins. You know, you he's know, got a that submission there. for Mike Rotundo right there. I've you never know, seen Boris, that. Before. I actually had a have a cousin called Phil Collins. No, no, no relation to the did English part. Did did did, did, did he say the studio? <laughs> oh. Does he also, like, once in a while just goes, She's an easy lover. No, I wish I was like cousins no with, with... I wish I was Bro, cousins with Phil Collins was in his R&B bag in the 80s, bro. Yeah. He's like the white member of, of, uh, of, uh, of Earth, Wind, and Fire, bro. He's the, he's oh, the unofficial okay. white member of the Earth, Wind, and Fire. Jay, how, much, wait, wait, wait. how much do you think Mike Rotundo has a chance of winning? Uh, fifty percent. I know definitely. No, it's not the BG. <laughs> <laughs> I remember no, the Bee Gees. No I remember the, when the, the Bee, Bee Gees was like the seventies, bro. Yeah. Remember when the Bee Gees would do music Earth before disco? In the eighties, bro. 
Once again, you wildin', sir. <laughs> the, the, the white members of Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> That's wild, bro. Look at that. Look at that line. crowd pop for the lariat of of Mike Rotundo. This yeah, this is a show out. specifically located here in the one place where Mike Rotundo yeah, that, is guaranteed to get over. That's fair. The Earth, Wind, that, and Fire, the Black Bee Gees. That's okay. Don't I you mean the Blee Gees? No, we don't. We we don't <laughs> got we, we don't got a freaking um... <laughs> merge words. Yeah, we don't merge words. Man, man, you guys, you guys thought I was gonna pick the obvious pick of Steve Williams, right? No, I, I picked, I picked the most underrated man. I just gotta say though, all right. Phil, Phil Collins took Philip Bailey's like struggling ass single solo career and gave that motherfucker a hit, and then told him, "It ain't your hit, motherfucker. It's mine." You know, there's something I've noticed uh, with Phil Collins and Peter Gabriel. All right, when they left Genesis, their career skyrocketed. So what I'm but saying Phil Collins is, never really left Genesis, though. But you get what I mean. Like, without Genesis in the name... Oh, no, 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 no. No. Let me have a hot take right here. Yeah, that is a go That is a go to Phil Collins so show, The Long Way to Go. That, that is a go to... But uh, my hot take is Genesis was better with Phil Collins and, and the three guys. Like, like, when Peter Gabriel left it, it got better. Okay. Like, I listen to those albums, and they're better, you know? But Genesis is goaded, by the way, you know? No, I'm not like, arguing. I just noticed that, like, it, those two names, they're kind of bigger than Genesis is from what I've seen in my area. Well, yeah. Then again, my area, we have this great debate called John Candy or Chris Farley. Who is better? Is it just me, or is the stream lagging whenever I... It, it, it's yeah. called JM. Okay. So that's a question for you all. Who did you like more, Chris Farley or John Candy? We are not. We are not going to pose Andrew Tate's bail. Hey, uh, no. Andrew Andrew hey, Andrew uh, Tate got a bail. It looks like uh, whoever well, suggested some... that need to get the hell nice. out of the server. Guys. Yes. Yes, yeah. JM. So Mike Rotundo knows all that. Uh, Mike Rotundo like knows all the shit out of are that. Opposed, are opposed to the sale. Who's opposed to the sale? No. Uh, AAA, tri uh, the man, Three H's, and Stephanie are opposed to the sale. It, and my friend literally says that Hunter is not long one way or another. True. What, what do you mean, oh. not long one way or another? That's in that his sounds, job. Sounds... Oh. Uh. What do you think, Vince McMahon's gonna kill Triple H over a business sale? Nah, he gonna get he gonna get booted out like uh. And damn it, Kenzo Suzuki won again. Mike Rotundo got close to winning, but he, he just got... But... You know, he, he get Kenzo Suzuki cheated the tax system batting hat. He can't keep getting away with this. Wait a second, he lost against Nakanishi and the guy. Yes, but none of them had the power of the IRS like Mike Rotundo. <laughs> Yeah, and he—he he, uh, it's, it's, it's because it's because Mike it's because Mike didn't have. Fujiter. Oh, Fujita coming in. Um, Fujita. That Kazuyuki Fujita. I would like to thank my friend Kazuyuki Fujita, who's, a, who's about to beat Kenzo Suzuki's ass. I was gonna make that joke. Uh, How dare you? You read my right. mind. Oh, it seems to be in the camp all season. Deploy the summoning circles in. Deploy right. the summoning circles in and know my chat. You know, you know how this goes. Wait, <laughs> Fujita is a jobber in KOC one and two though. He is. Uh, Fujita's got a high Fujita's overall a in this game. Wait, I can. Uh, not a every big match we put Fujita in, he he, he, he they were booking Yeah, but every match we put him in. Though? Okay, JM, you can say that, but every match we put him in, the big matches we put him in, he, he chokes. So I'm calling, He's like okay Kawada. He chokes in the big matches. Yeah, like or Masawa. This is not a goaded theme, Jug. <laughs> it is not a goaded theme, since this is the ripoff version. The real version, I can understand. 
But the Noki theme is a ripoff of the Muhammad Ali version. Muhammad Ali gifted it to him. I don't recall. Then again, what do I no, know? I'm just did. a guy on he the did. internet. He did? You yeah. Have a citation I think for that? Well, after that, Maha after that shitty, but uh, infamous, but somehow over, uh, Ali versus Inoki, quote unquote, fight. Uh, Ali, I guess, respected Inoki and pretty much gave him his team. He changed it from Ali Bombaye to Inoki Bombaye. Okay, Jay says Pretty sure he that's... thinks I look like a mix of Hank Hill and Sam Lake. I do not know who Sam Lake is. With the outside, he's the guy. Who, he's the guy who, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I, he's the guy. You know, do you know? You know? You know the you know the PS2 the PS2 like you know the model for people, for oh Max Payne one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, you look like. Guys, guys, if you JM's trying to talk, JM's trying to talk. Let JM talk. Okay, there's a big twist. You want to know who else is in the pool for potential buyers? AEW, Tony Khan, the Khan family. The Khan, yeah, we we do this already, but guess what? That's not happening. That is not happening. Yeah, well, they're in the pool. Well, I'm in the pool too with bad bitches too, you know. So, <laughs> man, said, I'm in the pool with bad. Bitches. Do you have an man, ODB in lying. that pool? I got, I got, I got all the just, just like by WWE. I got like all the bad bitches in the pool right now. Oh yeah, it looks like man, stop lying. Anybody's fan of a oh yeah, freaking Alice Overy wants to compete in the one million dollar Muay Thai Grand Prix that one championship wants to do. Yeah, but. But he, but Guys, I have to. I have to. I have a stipulation for this match. If Ke if Kenzo Suzuki wins this match, I will do a face review. Oh my! Wait, wait. If Fujita wins, are you sure about? That? No, if Suzuki wins. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I think you're safe because from the overalls in this game, Suzuki one forty five, Fujita two forty four. The odds, yeah, but are like, in your favor, Batman. That's right. He can Anything find a way to get happen. away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. I'm, gonna, I'm finna buy WWE and add an extra W. WWE? Yeah. Oh, man. Jay. Oh, man. This uh, this man's gonna bring it back to its old WWF days. Huh. Man, <laughs> man, it's gonna... This is more of a, like a shoot fight than a wrestling match at this point. No, man, man said he gonna make it WWE W. What the fuck is That's that? That's just another way of saying woo. <laughs> woo. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god, uh, Boris is doing a sequel to Koto Fuyuki's WWE W. I no, knew that's it. that's Jay that says that. But, uh, Jug oh, wow. wants yeah. my would, face reveal. I would, I would book WWE like WWE. I would book it like that. Oh, man, I can is, already see it. Michael Cole sad, yelling man. out, "Porn wins! Porn wins! Porn wins! Porn wins!" Who? <laughs> no, no that was at the FMW show. <laughs> that, was, oh, that, 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 that was the Tokyo Pop DVD commentary. Yeah. Yo, this is actually pretty fucked up. Dudes were tearing up flyers and her, her bullying a street team, running a wrestling show. Oh my! That Outside sucks. of Soul Cal. Yeah. Guys, I think this match is probably 50 50 so far. Boom! Oh. On his head! Oh no. Okay, so exactly. What was, was, was this was this PWG they're talking about? It says PCW. No, no, they said P the other fans of the other promotion was, was, this, was this PWG doing this? Oh my god, PCW, that does not give me a clean thought in my mind. It says here are flyers at last night's AEW show. Uh, oh my! Why would they even do flyers at that show? To get fans that like, hey, you like AEW? Try liking that this show. A lot of promotions. Hey, you guys do like that. AEW? You guys love wrestling? You can watch us, guys. Yeah. Look at all hey, those you elbows. Remember you guys remember that one wrestler, uh, Jody Fleish? Yep. Who? Yeah, Johnny, he was like who? a indie wrestler in the late '90s, early 2000s. I think he even did and a tenure in Mishinoku Pro. 
You know what's funny? That tenure in Michinoku Pro got him in a Fire Pro game. Yeah, he was known as Dr. Chan. What game? What game? What game? What game? What, what game? I played all, almost all the Fire Pro games, and I have no recollection of that. I believe, I think he was in G, I think. Yeah, BRB. How is this, like, how does this move from Fujita get a big reaction from the crowd? That that weird, like, uh, sides uh, sleeper thing. Let's see if that works now. You get a kind of ice. Is it because he's choking him out? I think so. You get a kind of ice, right? Yeah, that's what he's talking about. <laughs> he missed. You gotta be kidding me. He missed the and he lost out. his breath. He's right God there. <laughs> and a rope break. Why, why is that a rope break? break? Uh, Suzuki probably extended his this game, long arms. They, uh, you know. They actually did a patch uh, for the rope breaks, no but, like, uh, I don't think we have it. Yeah, it wasn't until, like, well, is this Fujita in his MMA, is this Fujita in his MMA thing? No, wrestling. Yeah, this is this is like... Uh, no, because his moveset at the time was mainly MMA. He didn't really necessarily have wrestling moves. Like, uh... Gee, I wish I... Okay, there we go. But as I was going to say... Uh, dang, I forgot what I was going to say, everyone. In, um, Dang it. Oh, my God. Suzuki just died from a low kick... Well, I mean, it makes sense. He's not prepared for this match. He looks like he's not going to get away with it anymore, huh? Well, I mean, he's facing a guy that basically is designed to murder in this game. You mean in real life as well? He never killed anyone in real life. Not yet. Oh, God, Jesus. And of course he was done. Come back. He can't do anything. He's in a... Why did that when I have I pick a point for Kento Suzuki? Kento Suzuki loses it. I don't All I gotta know. say is is Kento Suzuki was the was the triple A ace back in the day. You know, that's a fact. No way. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Big push. They treated him very well in Triple A. Oh, oh god. my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Again. Freaking killed yeah, him. He tapped out. That Too was much a, damage to that the shoulders. That was far closer than it had any right to be. Yeah, I but almost hey, lost. But, but hey, I'm gonna. I mean, if but, I, I mean, when I wrestle my first match, I'm not gonna be masked. So, you know. Yeah, but you're hey, you're gonna wrestle in sunglasses. <laughs> but not. hey, I I got us a W. All right. I, so I think. Would you have lost? The main, I, no, for the main event, we gotta have Boris do, do one. All right, Boris, who you got? Someone's good. Uh, For the main event. Can you Kenzo do Suzuki, Suzuki, Kenzo Suzuki versus Big Shinya. Let's, let's go. Shinya Hashimoto? Makabe? No. Yeah. Why, oh. why, would, I, why would I pick Shinya Makabe? Because he's, cause he's Makabe? Ah, uh, JM, it kind of sucks how you never picked Kenzo's second attire, the purple one. It's for the best. Why? Purple, good. I love how the how we get to the ring, the first shot is this guy's head. Is the ring announcer's head from this angle? <laughs> oh At least he God. doesn't have a bald spot. Imagine if he did. <laughs> oh, man. I never Bro, seen I this angle. Get an immediate fire star if he did, though. I think the camera's actually getting close to the guy. <laughs> no, it's not moving. Finally! The camera zoom, moves. It was a super zoom in. Now it's, move, now it's just uh, focusing on his ass cheeks. From that far away distance? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're something weird. I think you're weird. No, no, it's not me. It's just a... Just uh, so Jug is not happy back. with the choice, uh, Boris. He says, why did he choose the choke artist? The choke artist. Oh, my God. Wait, guys. Hey, no, Kenzo Suzuki needs no, a big win. No. And he, if he can get it, he can get it. 
wait, wait, Quirinus. It's because the camera was focusing on on only his back. All right. Yeah, Don't that's not his me. butt. There's a difference between but, backs but, and butts. Back and but butts. they're the, but still in the but they're both in the back. Yeah, but are you looking straight or are you looking down? Obviously straight. Then why were you talking about his butt? That means you were looking down. That's haram, body hat. You need to apologize. Body hat. Body hat. Body hat. That's the right. Body hat. But body hat. That's haram the way you said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. I'm not in his religion, so that means it's I'm by default haram. Uh, no jug. Shinya was not in the fire festival. He was in the G spot climax, apparently, according to Jay. Look, Pim, I know it's our job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. He's obviously made up his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? And it's the smiling <laughs> friends in front of Chris Benoit. That, that's your, that's, we should call. We should have a tournament every year in, in, uh, in, uh, in KU Coliseum called the G-Spot Climax. <laughs> I, you know, I was thinking the same thing. We gotta have it be on Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you wanna no, watch your Hallmark uh, movies? Fuck no. You wanna play King of Coliseum with the cool guys. King of Coliseum 2, where the big boys play. Damn, I am getting mad lag. Oh, yeah. Saw, Me too. You guys saw Dynamite. Um. Did you guys see uh, that move that Takashita did to uh, the Danielson? It's in the workshop. Okay. Every move in the world now is in, is in the workshop. Tell us a move that isn't now, in the workshop. Is uh, uh, is Antonio Inoki's shooting spree on Great Antonio in the workshop? I think so. No. I knew it. People have it's, standards. It's, it's, Nobody made it's Vader's dance bomb on Kane. Nobody made the great cosplay sequence on Dirt Bike. Wait, wait, wait. Of course. Is Vader's, is Vader's Ganso bomb on Kane in the workshop? No, it's not. Okay, Jay, I think we have the no. idea. It's going to be an All Japan tournament. Instead of the Champion Carnival, it's going to be called the G Spot Carnival. Wrestling Max. Love. <laughs> oh, my God. No, G Spot Carnival. Oh. <laughs> no. It's got to be the G Spot Climax. <laughs> G Spot Carnival Climax. Oh my god, what other silly names? Like the G-Spot Festival over in Zero One? Oh my god. The real guys. world G-Spot League for the tag teams? Wait, wait, wait. The Great Antonio Beatdown is in the workshop. My gosh. They put everything in the workshop, bro. Do they have like half of Dan Shoku Dino's like offense? Bro, as soon as... American <laughs> <laughs> oh my, god. oh my gosh, I like Bruh, this I, new uh I, hold on, hold on. As soon as like yeah, they have everything on the workshop. Like as soon as fucking Kaito's new finisher he debuted that new finisher, it was on the workshop like immediately after. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like someone wait, that wait, just wait. He, he has two monitors, one watching wrestling, the other making moves in Fire Pro. Yeah. Sad. But happy for yeah. us, yay. They're just living the life. Just living the life. <laughs> so, JM, what other uh, crazy uh, pro wrestling love show names do you got? Uh, Tiki Cybrid. Ass and Furious, oh boy. Ass and Furious. Well, I have a good one. Great Balls of Fire. That's awful. I hate it. Not it reminds me of that no, no, one song. No, 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 no. I got it. 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 It's, instead of the fire festival, call it the BBL festival. B B C festival. What does BBL mean? Brazilian butt lift. Why would you know this? B -B How do you? Yeah. Why are you asking the question? You know, not, not everybody, knows, the everybody knows Brazilian butt lift. I've never heard of Brazilian butt lift until now. Oh, you're a white guy. Me neither. That makes sense. <laughs> horror games over from Jay. That's a good one. The oh fall brawl God, with the horror games. I'm oh surprised Jay God, hasn't said guys. Pulp Friction yet. Damn it, you took mine. Oh, DDT. 
Oh, and okay. it's over. He's dead. It has to be the end. But right now, all I see is... There we go. Goodness. Oh, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> nah, nah, because Kendo... Oh, my. He's... Go he got a spear. Breath. No. Why does he... Why he got a breath in a Kendo Suzuki, man? Yo! DDT. Here we go, DDT. Oh, Hashimoto is instant, uh, uh, just like focusing hard on, on killing Kenzo Suzuki more than Fujita. Uh, he's gonna is gonna go for another Suzuki DDT. All these matches in a row. Is Suzuki having all these matches in a row? Like in the same card? Just seven matches at Kenzo Suzuki? Uh, Jay says No Way Out 2002, but the set is Fake Taxi. Bro, stop this! Stop this! What's a fake taxi? I don't know what That's, that is. I don't know either. It's probably for the best you don't. Ali, you're not old enough to know. No, definitely not old enough. I know uh, what I right. do. It's basically... Yeah, I it's it's a really bad Uber, Uber drive. There we go. Oh, uh, uh, I think oh, I know. Goodness. Candle just... Oh, no. How is he coming back? All you need to... He can't keep getting away with it. All you need to know is it's like crazy taxi, but haram. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Very. Yeah, you gotta very... remember the rock band Offspring and Bad Religion are already by default haram, especially Bad Religion. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 let's make. This hey, hey, game. hey! It's time to watch Zach hit some crazy taxi. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> this is very tense right now. I you know what? If Suzuki wins this match, I will do a face reveal. Like Are for you real. sure? Are you it's like you're trying to make excuses no, to reveal no, no, yourself. No, 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 no. like cuz cuz no, no, I hate Suzuki. What are you doing, god. man? Oh my god. You blew god. it. Bad bad. You blew it. You had it all and you, you blew, blew it. it. You had it all and you corner. blew it. Kenzo Suzuki, he got away with it again. Now, now Batting Hat done booked himself into a corner. Good job, anyway. kid. Yeah, Real right up. when it got Working, to a 2.9. Why were you I worked sick? myself into a shoot. Yeah, Jug did, is not happy, uh, Boris. I did it on purpose just to piss you off. <laughs> so, should I do it now, or should I, like, is the challenge run over? Is the challenge run over? That was the main event? Yes, the challenge, unfortunately, is over. That's, that was the main event. Oh, no. All right, best match on the show was the main event, because it was the most intense one. Oh, my God. My favorite was Mitsuya and the guy match. Oh, wait. Did you see how it'd be carrying? That was the best. Uh, oh, wait. So, I, I sent the face reveal now, or not? Yeah, I guess so. No, no, oh, no, 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 it's on the face reveal at all. Okay, do you want me to stop the recording just to be safe? Yeah. Uh, Alright, yeah, here sure, we go. JM, JM, outro, please. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we tried to stop him, but that rat bastard got away with it. <laughs>